no secret that we are a country full of busy people. However, all the extra hours and responsibilities are leading to health consequences, both physical and psychological. Chronic illnesses and obesity are on the rise. One of the contributing factors to obesity may be what's lurking in your takeout lunch. This Thursday, March 10, is National Pack Your Lunch Day. So we thought we'd share why we like to pack our lunch. Starting with the obvious, while not having to cook your food sounds amazing, knowing exactly what's in your food is that much more appealing. Forego refined flours, sugars, oils, and more by simply preparing your own food and bringing them with you to the workplace or on the go. No time to actually enjoy your lunch. No more deciding where to go, finding the time to go, and utilizing your precious lunch time to travel and figure out your food situation. Let's face it, time is precious. If you can get some of it back by packing, my vote is go for it. Save the money. I'm sure I don't need to break this down for you, but let me give you an example. Think of the last time you went out to lunch. How much did you spend? $12? $15? A chicken salad at a well-known restaurant chain with chicken, brown rice, pinto beans, guacamole, and a water bottle is $12.13. That's with the taxes included. Packing a lunch at home of brown rice, black beans, and a smashed avocado, and a water bottle cost less than six dollars. Motion control. Part of eating a real food diet is stopping when you feel full or are almost full. Because even if we're eating real food, three helpings in one sitting may not be the best option. By packing your lunch ahead of time, you can pack adequate, but not out of control portions to ensure you don't overeat or overspend. And throw in a healthy snack too while you're at it. Apples and almond butter is a great option to avoid those afternoon trips to the vending machine. More variety. Whether you want to get some of those much needed servings of fruit and veggies midday, or simply enjoy different types of cuisines, to switch things up, the options are endless when you're doing the shopping and packing yourself. Use leftovers from home that might otherwise go to waste. Do you ever throw out leftovers? Feel like your fridge is so stuffed that you can't see past the outermost row of foods? Go ahead and pack them. They're already done. And if you don't usually have leftovers, plan ahead and make a little extra for tomorrow's lunchbox. Challenge your co-workers to bring a lunch as well. Share and sample each other's lunches or take turns and prepare lunches for each other. Then make it a point to enjoy the lunches together so you don't have to miss out on the socializing part of going and grabbing a lunch with someone you like. Take a break even though you packed a lunch. Some of us are so busy, we tend to work through lunch when we bring something. But you need a break. And you will actually be more productive afterwards when you do. Enjoy a walk outside. If we have to drive somewhere and order food, it takes up time. But once we pack foods, we save the time and can go for a walk after. Going for a light walk after a meal stimulates the metabolism and helps in burning calories. It also boosts blood circulation throughout your body and makes you feel less lethargic. Not only that, but research shows that taking 20 minutes to walk or sit in nature significantly lowers your stress levels. You deserve it. Guys, do I really need to explain this one? We've all been there. Single or married, with or without kids, male or female. We are all busting our butts to get everything done every day. I know, because I do the same thing. And I see my friends, family, and even strangers doing it too. Yeah, it's easy to just hit the drive through or curb your hunger with a nice big dose of caffeine. But we work hard, and we deserve good food to help take care of ourselves. Take the time to plan your meals.